What's going on internet? Robert Tea Garden. Thanks again for tuning in today for another Tea Garden quick tip tutorial. Today we're talking about a weird flickering that's happening with your DJI Mavic Pro. But before I jump into that, I'd love to say if you haven't already, why don't you connect with me on the socials? I'm RMT Shoots on Twitter and Instagram, real active on both of those things, and I would love to catch up with you there, have a little conversation, you know, uh, just a little, uh, how's your father? Sounds like a good time. Speaking of socials, this is where this video started. I have uh, quite a bit of drone footage on my Instagram account and when I was posting a couple different pieces, I noticed that there was this weird, interesting flickering that's happening on some of my footage. It didn't happen all the time, but in specific instances, there was a very bizarre uh, kind of gradient that was happening and I was very curious as to what was going on. Here's a shot that I took flying over some water. that looks gorgeous, but when it rendered out and it went onto Instagram, I looked at it and I went, ah, oh, man. No! 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 That's not what I wanted to see, obviously. Uh, it didn't look like that when I was editing it and when it came out. Uh, that's definitely uh, not what I wanted to put on the interwebs. Here's another one. I was flying over the freeway. Don't, don't tell anybody. Flying over the freeway and you can see on the rooftop on the right hand side, it looks like one of those corrugated roofs, uh, you know, the things that kind of go like this. And you can see that there's a weird, interesting flickering that's going on uh, with the camera. And again, that's not really what I wanted to show there. It, it definitely doesn't look that way when I'm looking at it in the viewfinder. And clearly, if we're flying over it in a different camera setup, say you're fortunate enough to fly a helicopter and you got some fancy schmancy camera that you're pointing down there, that's not what it would look like. I was curious as to why this happened. And I think one of the main reasons, and you can kind of do a little quick Google if you want to and figure this out for yourself, is that because because the Mavic camera is so small, one of the trade-offs that they had to make is putting anti-flickering agent inside the camera itself, inside the sensor. So because of that, we have to deal with these weird lines that are happening. There's other issues as well that deal with sharpness, especially if you have areas of high contrast where there's an area of shadow and then fully lit, fully exposed area of your composition. Things start to show up and get messy in that regard too. Uh, but for specifically for me and what I was dealing with, with something with this water or where there are patterns in rooftops uh, or, or street patterns, things like that, where you saw in the examples that I have. So I dug around, spent a couple days trying to figure out exactly what was going on, and I found an answer and I wanted to share it with you guys today. So here's what I did. When we're in Premiere, we're going to go up into Clip. When we get to Clip, you go to Video Options, scroll over to Field Options, click on that one there. The thing that's going to pop up is this little tiny box that gives you about three different radio buttons to push. One of them says reverse field dominance. Check that box. And if you look down at the bottom, I mean, it's not like you're traveling very far, but if you look at the bottom of that same window, you'll see flicker removal. Check that box too. Once those two options are clicked, click OK. And once your footage renders, it should be A-OK -okay there, buckaroo. One thing that I will say that's kind of a pain with this is that you have to do it for every clip that you have, every drone clip that you have in your timeline, which as you guys know, I'm always looking for a way to expedite that process as fast as possible, and I haven't found a way to do it in mass. If you know and you're a little bit smarter the guy than I am, then why don't you uh, leave me a comment down there below and, and, and you know, hook a brother up, you know? But other than that, I'll take the five minutes it takes to de-interlace and de-flicker and de all the different Ds that I need to do in order to make sure that my footage from a drone perspective is fantastic. It's magnificent. It's wonderful, really. It's outstanding. Another thing that actually helps a lot is to add just a smidge of sharpening when you do your color correction. Some people are doing this in camera. I'd actually like to have the option to do it in post. So I add just a little bit of sharpness in areas like that and uh, it, it tends to help a lot. All right, guys, that's it. Another Tea Garden quick tip tutorial in the books, how to remove that weird flickering effect that's in your drone footage, specifically your Mavic Pro. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Maybe give it a Sherry McSherry sin, as uh, Jared Poland says, fro knows photos. And uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I'm out of here. That was another Tea Garden tutorial in the wraps. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Tutu, ta, ta, uh, uh, bye.